In this presentation, we're going to look at LubriData and we're going to use it for some financial data. So what I'm going to do is load up all the packages that I'm going to use. I mean, you're obviously going to use LubriData. I'm going to use ReadR. I'm going to show you a very important consequence of using ReadR, particularly when you're working with date, dates and so on. Dplyr and Magritte are just to help me perform a few operations. So when I use ReadR, there's a special command called read underscore CSV. Now, I have a data set in my home directory, a CSV file called gedata.csv. There we go. Now, this is actually taken from a financial website. So it, it, that, that is possible, or was possible, just to take a large amount of financial data and so on. So just automatically, it detected that it should be a date. And so now it's actually arranged as a date and formatted as a date. So let's just have a look at glimpse, which is a very useful command from dplyr. There we go. It just actually, yeah, so there it is set up as a date object. Okay. Now, the reason I just sort of mentioned this, I'm gonna do it in a slightly wrong way. I'm gonna use read.csv and just bring up, upload the data again and this time I'm going to call it just GE2. And let's look at GE2. So here it's uploaded as a factor. So it's it's saved as a factor there, which is not what we want. So Glimpse is very good for checking it. Now let's just say for argument's sake, for some reason things went wrong and we don't have data in the format we want. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to convert GE2 date to date data. So the command is ymd. By the way, what I should have done there is pointed out that that was the format year, month, date. That was the format it was saved in. So you can rearrange that depending on how this data is ordered, like date, month, year, and so on. Okay. So let's just actually get a glimpse of it now, seeing as we have updated it. And GE2, there we go. Now it's a date. So now it's the way it should be. So we can pick out the dates. So for example, I want to create year. I'll just do this very gently first off, just to show that you can do this. So I'm back to GE, which is read in by Readr. Okay, so we were able to pick out all of the years. Just actually see that this data goes right back to 1962. Now that's another thing I shouldn't really have done. I didn't want to go back that far, but I just wanted to show, show that that is what that command can do. Okay, and likewise you can do it for month and day. So what I'm going to do here, oops, done it again, didn't mean to do that. So what I'm going to do here, and I'm going to do it in multiple steps, is create a column using mutate to update the GE data. And this time I'm going to put in month, year, month, and day as separate columns. Okay. Now I'll leave alone the original date, but I'll put in the year and the month and so on. Uh, you can do this in one go. So I'm just going to do it in small steps. So for example, I'm just I'm gonna do step by step basis, but you can actually do this all in one line. GE, this is from dplyr. Okay. This is the Magritte pipe operator. So let's just have a look at what I've done there, my handiwork. So there we go. One more variable. So the day the year, the month, and the day, which is just hidden from us. Okay. Finally we can put in the weekday if we want let's just do that okay so the weekday is just at the week the day of the week that we are talking about so what would happen here is just off screen is let's have a quick look at it there ge i have it saved as weekday there we go oops do that again just the days of the week, okay? 
You might notice that Saturday and Sunday is missing because that's not usually included in financial data because the stock markets are closed at the weekend. So we'll leave it there.